It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas around town. Some department stores have unveiled their holiday windows, including some today. Right here, see this is Christy Kalish. Cool. She is the plumber Simon She's live in Carroll <laughs> Square to show us what the stores have in store. How does it look, Christy? <laughs> see what I did there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. There is nothing else like it out here. And just to show you, Macy's does such a good job at making their window display so interactive. Just want to show you, you can press a button here, press for whatever you wish for this holiday season, happiness, love, joy, whatever it is and just a few steps down you can actually take a selfie you can make your face part of this display which is just awesome and this is all just part of what uh, Macy's is doing here as passers-by are stopping here and at department stores across the city as they expect more tourists this holiday season it's so beautiful like I never seen anything like this anywhere before it's the first time in recent years Connie Kanye from South Africa is able to travel to the U.S. to see the famous Macy's holiday window display for herself. Dad, I want to do it. Okay, no problem. Seven-year-old Viviana is pulling her dad to see the far right window that has a selfie camera. It makes you part of the display. The Macy's holiday window display tradition dates back to the 1800s. The theme for this year's windows is to give love. I really wanted to do a mix of uh, traditional um, artist, art, artistry mixed with like a new media, like in the gingerbread castles, all the details. So you guys are doing a window tour. Yes. yes. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We're going to go in some stores too. <laughs> okay. Caroline and Ron Joseph are visiting from Cincinnati for the first time since 2019. They came just in time for that first sign of Christmas across the city's department stores. Nordstrom already has its colorful display out. Well, it was a busy day for Macy's, Bloomingdale's, and Bergdorf Goodman as they put up their finishing touches. Saks unveils its display later this month. This is all in preparation for what's expected to be more tourists coming to the city this year with fewer COVID restrictions. The city is already under a gridlock alert. If anything, I think it seems almost more crowded and alive. That's a big plus, you know. It makes it more enjoyable to see people out and about. People are everywhere, and it just seems like the city's back, and that's how it should be. And just take a look at the attention to detail here. I mean, look at this. You got a little uh, uh, disco ball action here. And if you look closely at these little figures, they're actually made by puppeteers, which I think is beautiful. I mean, I can't stop looking at those faces. And I actually asked the uh, director here of the windows, um, the plans for next year, of course, I had to say, you have any plans yet? But he said he needs to take a much needed rest and they're probably gonna start planning in February, but he is thinking um, of those plans. And that's the latest that we have here in Herald Square, Macy's. Christy Kalishi and CBS oh. 2 News. Christy, love you on the radio, love you here. Yeah, absolutely. Great oh, report. You get on the disco ball. <laughs> Who does that? Great job, Christy. The disco age. There you right? go. Yeah, we remember, unfortunately. <laughs> Thanks, Christy. Good Thanks. to see you. <laughs> and welcome. Yeah. And, and Lonnie remembers the disco age, too. So, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. I, I, I lived it. <laughs> oh, yeah.